Hey, what's going on guys welcome back to another video i'm finally doing the brakes on the gti today well i've kind of already made a start but i'll show you guys a sketch in a second once i hop out the car now i don't know if you guys have noticed but i'm actually filming on a new camera right now it's a sony a6400 um, i normally film on a canon g7x mark ii i've been using that for about two years now but i thought you know it's time to finally kind of up the quality on the channel i have already been filming part of this brake install video over the last few days but the weather has been really unpredictable and I've had a lot of distractions around the house so I'll probably insert them clips in. But these are the standard GTI brakes. We're going to be changing all of this. We're going to change the lines as well because I have upgraded lines with the setup I've got. These I believe they were done last October. The previous owner did it just before I bought it off him. But irrespective of whether they're new or not, they're just not up to the task for the power now. If you are new here, this is a 350 horsepower GTI. So it definitely needs a lot more stopping power. Golf 4 calipers, straight off a Mark 7 Golf 4. The racing line, brake line, so they're a bit more fancy. But we're not going to be going with Golf 4 discs. We've got these Audi TTS discs, which are the same diameter, 340mm. There's it over there. Brand new. I went for Paget ones. They're not like drilled on there, but it doesn't really matter. We just want to, whatever we put on that car is going to be improvement and we can fine tune it as we go along. In terms of fluid, Got this Motel RBF 600. We're going to be doing the bleeding afterwards. I've picked up this one man kind of pressurizing system to use on the reservoir. You're going to have to bear with me on all the brake bleeding and stuff like that because I don't really understand exactly how to do it. I was reading up on it. I know it's weird. We've done so many mods on the car so far, turbo swap, all that stuff. But brakes are something that's completely new to me and I don't want to mess it up. But we'll get the hardware installed like the calipers, discs. And then we'll do the bleeding. Right, so I've just made a start. The first thing I'm going to do is undo these 7mm Allen bolts. Pretty long bolt to be fair. Let's use a flat head. I would recommend using a pair of visors. I'm going to go get some now at the shed because you don't want shit flying in your eyes, man. It's just a set of brakes. You don't want to just get something flicking. Yeah, and you go blind. I need to get the brake pad center off as well. Knew something would get messed up. So if you look here, it's supposed to come out from there. But instead, the wire got cut off from there, so... Still has got some life in it, to be fair. They're not that old. It's just I want to upgrade everything. That's what I'll play this exercise. This is the bracket. You take this off as well. So we get the disc on first. Got the old disc here outside for the last day or so. You can see it's already in that orange kind of dust on it. So with this, with this tiny little Torx. See the difference in focus on this camera, it doesn't even want it. New disc is on, looks a lot better. But what I've been told, the screw literally just aligns it. The wheel studs actually hold it in place. A lot bigger, much better than that thing over there. But we'll see anyway once we've installed it. It's not like it's nothing new. I've had these brakes on my older car anyway, my S3, which came with it. All right, so the caliper bracket's on now. Starting to take shape. It's just these two 21 millimeters here. It's a reversal, it's nothing too hard. Yep. Uh, that makes sense. So now, all we got to do is put this caliper on here and we've got the little T45s and there should be plain sailing from there and then we can do all the bleeding and whatnot. I'll just balance that there. That's a bad idea. The hardware is finally installed on the left side anyway. This side needs cleaning as well. Fair bit of uh, muck on here but you can use one of these brushes again but some of this stuff you probably won't be able to get off but you can get at least some bits on the hub which is what matters we did it on the other side so i'm not going to show you again so yeah we'll skip to in three two one yep so there we go a lot cleaner of course we won't be able to get everything off but it's a lot more metal looking than brown before so i made a little rookie mistake when i was ordering my stuff the side that i used it normally makes you put in the registration of a random car so i did that i ordered the disc and i forgot to change the reg over back to a mark 7r reg when I clicked brake pads, so I ended up getting these in the post, which were TTS brake pads. All good and whatever, but they're designed for the older style calipers. What I needed was these. They're on the car, of course, because I've already installed them, but these are Mark 7R pads. You can use various types of pads. I'm not saying these are the only ones you need, but yeah, these ones, I'm not going to have any use for them. So any of you guys do want them, they are for sale. I'll probably sell them for about £40. Pounds. They're brand new for Axel, Brembo. So yeah, they fit on. They fit on all of these cars, so... With the brake lines, I was having a bit of trouble because you need a um, flare, not spanner. Because it gets rounded off quite easy. So I bought this. Still didn't do the job. So... 
and the board in this is our crow foot tools it's like that spanner there but you can put a ratchet on there as well so you can get the you can untie it a bit easier so if i show you so it hooks on nicely it grips all the way around so you can add, add a ratchet on there that is going to attach onto there and then the other bit is going to attach onto there it's going to go through this little bit here though so i need to figure that out these are just wires uh, these are actually lines back there so the wd-40 the crap out of them always use one of these protect your knees right so all brake lines off there it is brake fluid absolutely everywhere got the new line so one washer on that side i'm gonna stick another washer here so there's two washers this one you basically got to get these clips out they're a bit of a pain you pry them off with a screwdriver make sure you wear some eye protection though because you might get it flying off in your face i'm gonna quickly brush that up get into there line up with that and then we're all good all right folks so the brake lines are finally on it's a bit of a faff i'm not gonna lie and there's brake fluid absolutely everywhere so that's why i did show as much as i could i wanted to you know show every little bit coming off but it's a bit of a pain just would have got everything just covered in fluid so nice line got off this clip here undid the 11 millimeter back there the reason why i'm turning the ignition on is you can actually can turn the wheel easier for us to access so to turn this around what i'm thinking to do is i'll crack on with this side get the lines on because it's the exact same process all right so the lines are all done i'm gonna do the brake bleeding now so that involves checking the reservoir and getting all that stuff out now i have run into an issue whilst we were doing the lines quite a lot of fluid got out so ideally we didn't want that to happen uh, but because that one took so long and the knot was rounded off just the waiting time it just leaked a lot there this side as you saw was much quicker so we didn't really lose much fluid there if you look here you got the minimum and maximum issue is in there there isn't much liquid at all it's probably empty what i'm thinking i'll top that up a bit slightly and then we'll get to bleed in one of these calipers and just see how it goes there might be some in there i don't know exactly i've cleaned it up so there's no debris in the way but it is a new one for me so i'm not too sure what to do in the situation this is the little bleed nipple here so you attach the bottle here onto there see first what i was going to do i was going to take some liquid out with this but there's already not much in there to take out so we'll be needing this got this idea of a chris fix video it's good that it's sealed you know what one that's been sitting around opened because brake fluid apparently attracts water and other stuff all right so what we're going to do now we're going to fill up this brake pressurizer it's got its own little reservoir this attaches onto the car's reservoir uh, i've got my motor rbf 600 we'll um top this up by halfway or whatever there's no exact guide well, i've just been getting a brief idea online now like 16 17 i'm gonna give it a minute see if it moves and then we're gonna move straight onto this caliper and start bleeding it all right so we got some fluid a lot of air. Most of it looks like it's new fluid. I know it's a bit more. Gonna lie, some of this is a bit confusing to me. I don't know when you actually stop. It's a bit more clear. That's bleeded. There was loads of air. Bunch of liquid in here. It looks quite dark. There's no more air pockets coming out of there, so I'm guessing that's done. PSI wise, this has dropped a bit. I had a bit of a leak here before I started the other side. I did tiny up the. Um, end of the line needed a bit more tightening so i did that before i started got it back up to 18 so it's dropped now to 15 so i guess we'll try the next wheel it's kind of manky isn't it look at that there's so much air in that oh, that was just a leaf oh now it's nice and clear i'm kind of getting the hang of it now let's open the top of this to have a look at the fluid that came as you can see it's filthy so Definitely was still a lot of old fluid still in the car. I'm gonna do the rears now, put the front two wheels on just to make it easier. Less chance of ending falling over. We'll jack up this wheel first. And yeah, just continue with the bleeding. Now we'll at least what we can do after we're done. But this space here, we'll just, I don't know, move the guard forward and see if it doesn't go straight into that fence. <laughs> or into one of these. Yeah, we'll get a little road test of it maybe. Maybe in this video, maybe another video. Plenty more content to come on the old golf. Make sure you've gotten down and hit subscribe as well if you are enjoying it so far. So, yeah, that's just balancing there. 
clear the nipples right there you can see same procedure as you can see the rear brakes are gonna be that surface rust all look a bit monkey back here but I need to get rid of them springs and fake TDI springs it's all getting done now anyway but these calipers are probably gonna stay the same for now I'm not doing the rear brakes because the front take most of the impact and yes I am gonna probably leave them red so the front they're black you can see they're all logo it just I don't know stands out so yeah let's get breathing with this folks so it seems to be all done. That would be of an issue with the rear caliper. I'm bleeding it. Uh, one, the bleeding nipple was quite rounded off. Cars back on the battery did die so I had to just quickly jump start it but yeah I mean look at the front now. We have got the brake pad light on because of that cable that I destroyed. So if you look here our brakes. Cars finally coming together. I know it's got red calipers at the back but I want to leave the R logo on there. Makes it look a lot more purposeful. Plenty more Impreza videos as well on the way. Right, let me just hop in here. Alright, so we'll end the video here. It's been a long day. And I know this video's probably had about two, three different inserts and whatever, but I started off this uh, brake conversion a few days ago. It's just first of all it kept starting raining and there was people screaming in the background. I just get so many distractions. When I started this video I had animals as well. But yeah, I like to have my videos all in one go, but sometimes it doesn't happen, especially when you're working outside. Hopefully soon we'll have like an indoor space to do all the videos and we won't have no distractions from lots of other people or animals or whatever but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to drop a like on it if you did. I know it looks like a sweaty mess. Let me know if you do enjoy the new camera as well. And it looks a lot more fancy from the little screen on the top. Yeah I'll stop rambling now. I'll see you guys in the next video. And yeah just stay tuned guys.